Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be starting yet again a new series on this channel. So this is going to be a fire alarm wiring tutorial series. So I'm just going to start off by introducing this panel. This is a Firelight ES50X fire alarm control panel. Also usually abbreviated as FACP. So, <clears throat> this is an addressable fire alarm system as compared to conventional, but we're not going to dive too far into that in this particular episode. That will be discussed in a future episode. So, since this is the first video in the series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bring in power to the panel. So, when it comes to bringing in power to the fire alarm control panel, well, you see these terminals down here? Yeah, that's where the incoming AC power goes into. And there are multiple ways of going about that. Uh, the way that you're supposed to do it, if you actually work for a company in which professionally installs these panels, the way you're supposed to do it is wire in the panel's power directly to a circuit breaker. But, given the fact that uh, probably most of you watching this, including myself, um, are not professional electricians, um, there's also another way to bring in power, which is the enthusiast way. And that would be by using an extension cord to do so. So in my case, I bought a male to female extension cord. Yeah, one end, one end is the plug here, and then the other one had the female socket. But we cut off the female end, and then we're going to expose the individual wires on that end, and then put it in those terminals. Of course, another thing I should mention, and which you guys might have already picked up on, just based off the fact that we're using an extension cord, is the fact that we're dealing with straight 120 volts coming out of the wall. Yeah, it's not like a security system where we're going to be using a wall transformer that steps it way down from 120 to some other low voltage. No, we're dealing with straight 120 volts. Um, going into the panel's terminals there. So we, need, we definitely need to be uh, much more careful on this one. And yeah, when we're wiring in power, you definitely want to wire up the panel side first before you plug in the other end into the wall and not the other way around unless you want to you know, you want it to be guaranteed that you're going to come in contact at 120 volts. So now we're going to jump into stripping one end of the extension cord in order to wire it in to the panel. So like I said earlier, this is a male to female extension cord. Of course, we need to keep the male end in order to plug it into the wall. So we're going to be stripping the female end. So. Yeah, I've cut that clean off. So we're gonna be, so we're gonna start off by stripping off the shielding of the extension cord, probably from where my pointer finger is to where my thumb is. So, yeah, we're gonna need a pair of wire strippers similar to this. And then, usually what I do is little squeezes at a time and going around in a full circle. You want to be not too gentle, but not. Don't squeeze it too hard either because you don't want to cut the wires inside. And then finally once you get it cut all, all the way around, you can just pull it right off. Just like this. And now all the individual wires are exposed. Alright, so now that we have all the individual wires exposed, now we're going to strip back these wires as well to expose their copper. So, just like before, gonna need a pair of wire strippers. And yeah, we're gonna 
find the size closest to the size of the wire on the strippers. And then, yep, simply put the wire in, squeeze it down, and pull back to strip it back. Likewise, and then repeat the same steps for the other two. Alright, so now let's talk a little bit about the colors of the wires and where they would go into when wiring up the panel. So, let's see what colors we have to work with here. So, yeah, we have black, green, and white. So, black is going to be the hot wire, and white is going to be our neutral, and then, come on, focus camera, and then green is going to be earth slash ground. So if we look at the panel power terminals again, you see it's even kind of giving us a cheat sheet there of which terminal's which. So H right there, that's hot. So that would be the black wire. Earth is ground, which is the green. And neutral, I don't know if I said neutral before, but yeah, that would be our white wire. So I'm just going to kind of go from left to right here. So first, well, just like when I was working with security wire, we should probably twist up these wires a bit, you know, make them nice and bunched up so that their braids are not going all over the place and potentially touching something that they're not supposed to touch and causing a short and then it's a bad day. <laughs> I mean, realistically, it probably wouldn't cause that much damage, it would probably just trip a circuit breaker and or cause you know a lot of sparking so yep first I'm gonna put in the hot wire so let's zoom in here so yeah the furthest come on tilt up a little bit so yeah the furthest left terminal is our hot and that's going to be the black wire so I'm just gonna put that right into that terminal there and just kind of as general practice, I'm going to put it to the farthest left as I can, just away from the other terminals, just to minimize the chance of possible shorting. And then yeah, make sure the screw in that terminal is nice and tight. Yeah, pull on that wire, make sure it's not just going to slip right out. And then our green wire is our ground. We're just going to go into the earth terminal on the panel here. Yeah, what I don't like about that right there is that single piece of wire braiding wandering off from the ground. All right, so now that we got the ground wire in, now the last one I'm gonna put in is the neutral wire, which is the white wire. All right, so now all three wires are in there, and this little plastic door right here will close over those terminals just to make sure you don't accidentally uh, touch those when you're working on the panel. All right, so now the moment that we've all been waiting for, an operational test. So, now that we have the power, the power wired up on the panel side, now I'm going to plug in the other end to the wall and uh, see what happens. Oh, I saw some lights there. That's usually a good sign. Another thing to keep in mind is also the, uh, the piezo, or... Basically, in a nutshell, just the beeper that's on the panel uh, is defective. So, usually when you would power up a panel like this, you would have immediately heard that beeping. But, it's defective. So, it's silent. But, at least, 
It looks like we have some lights going on and looks like we have activity on the LCD screen. Let's just wait for it to fully boot up here. Man, it looks like the the Paizo, or, or how the heck you say that? The beeper seems to have um, come to life temporarily there, but it looks like um, now we're up. The panel's on the main screen here. And yeah, it's just yelling at us about a bunch of troubles since we don't have hardly anything connected to it. But yeah, it looks like we're fully up here. So it appears that we have successfully powered up the fire panel. So that's going to conclude it for this panel. Um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.